Hey guys, how's it going? We're here at the Emacs USA office in Southern California, and today we're going to be showing you guys this thing right here. And uh, right here to my right, I have JD. JD, what do we call this? This is the Magnum F4 Magnum All in One FPV stack and power system. Okay, and what does All in One mean? All in One means that you get pretty much everything on the power system, uh, aside from the motors, of course. But uh, getting all, everything in one stack so you can have your VTX, your receiver, your flight controller, and your ESCs all together in one. But wait, I heard there's OSD in this thing. OSD, current sensor, um, being able to look at your OSD through your PIDs and change your PIDs whenever you want to. Alright, and for those of you that don't know, this man right here is actually the sales manager for Emacs USA. So he loves this so much, he took his time away from pushing these guys out to you to come here and show you an unboxing and do a little build video for you guys. So let's go ahead and open these up and get started. Yeah, let's check them out. All right, so you open it up. First, you see the nice padding. JD's so excited, he's already moving ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, pretty blank padding there. <laughs> there you go, you could just toss that aside, <laughs> do whatever you like. Um, what do you see first in yours, right here? Well, we always have the trademark now, uh, Emacs logo stickers in each box. Pretty much we throw these stickers in everything now, so that's great. Um, right out of the box before pulling anything out, I see a bunch of uh, components, uh, screws, XT60 connector. Um, some wires in the back here I can pull out if I can get in down in there. There's a whip antenna, so it'll come with a whip antenna right out of the box. Let's see what else we got in here. Some wire for the XT60 for your power. And an SMA uh, plug with the UFL on it as well, so you can have the option of using the whip or also using uh, SMA like the Pagoda. Nice. You want to show the other half? Yeah. So right here, the first package you actually see at the top is this little gray non-static package which has your FR Sky XM Plus receiver. And for those of you that don't know, this is the official XM Plus receiver from FR Sky. So you're gonna get your S bus and your full range. Of course, like JD mentioned, your XT60 and heat shrink. Yes, we care so much we included the heat shrink. So if you don't have any, which you should if you're building mini quads, we put it in there for you. And here we have your standoff kit. This includes some little two millimeter standoffs, uh, some Phillips head standoffs, and also your six millimeter standoffs, which go in between your boards. And of course, like JD mentioned, the trusty, ever so useful Emacs stickers. Anything you need to Emacs up, we got you covered right here. Hey, put them on your quad, they're small enough nowadays. Exactly. <laughs> And as JD mentioned, we also include your wires, so you have your black for your positive. Wow, I said that backwards. You have your black for your negative and your red for your positive, but you could swap them if you want. Just remember that you swapped them before you plug your LiPo in. But here's your power wires for your stack. I'll go ahead and loosen this up so I could pull these out. And again, as JD mentioned, we have your whip antenna here. This right here is a UFL connector. This will plug in directly to the VTX so that you could pop that in and have this coming out. Or as JD mentioned, if you want, you have your SMA antenna, which again, plugs directly into the VTX with this UFL connector here. And then the major part, what do we got? Yes, the most important part. You wanna whip it out first? Yeah, so I got, I'm gonna take it out of the back side because uh, it just looks a little bit easier for me. So then we got the last of the, <clears throat> the last of the foam right there. And I'll put the box aside. So basically what we have is the Magnum F4. So what you get is a 30 amp uh, bullet ESC, uh, pretty much the same ratings as our current bullet ESCs, a uh, very small package on itself uh, with standoffs so you can easily solder to the standoff post without having to worry about taking the assembly apart. Um, also you get an F4 flight controller with, um, it runs off the Omnibus target. And uh, basically you can all also run OSD through here. So your VTX, which is right up on top of here, runs to the cam ports that are located right here. And um, then on top of that, you can run your FR Sky receiver on as well. So what we did is basically, instead of making an all-in-one where you have a lot of the components that are stacked in together, and yeah, it's a tight build, but we always see failures on one component and then the whole system goes away. Whereas a modular build, you can replace every component in case anything fails on the field and you don't have to worry about taking it all the way apart. So now you have the FR Sky receiver, or you can even run uh, Spectrum on the DSM right here. Uh, a 48 channel, uh, VTX that's switchable from 25 to 200 milliwatt. 
and runs a UFL, like we said, with the WIP or the SMA. Um, yeah, and it also includes a buzzer right on top of that, too. What else do you need, really? No, Some you motors and a camera, and you're good to go. So now that he let, gave you the overall breakdown, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the individual components. So if we come right here, you can actually see that the flight controller lifts right off the 4-in-1 ESC with this pin right here. So you have your 4-in-1 bullet 30 amp, as JD mentioned. Uh, your motors will be soldered here, 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 and here. And right here, we have the power connectors. So this is where you're gonna solder your XT60. If you look at the bottom, you'll actually notice your current sensor. So with the current sensor, this will allow the OSD to monitor your milliamps use and your battery voltage. And again, as JD mentioned, you have your F4 flight controller with the OSD, your VTX, your buzzer. And again, as he mentioned, for our spectrum users, we have that right here. You'll notice this pin right here is a three pin. What that will allow you to do is open up your FR Sky receiver that was included in the Magnum. Pop it out. And this will actually allow you to drop the receiver right through the pins like so, and you're good to go. Can you get any better than that, JD? No, it's pretty simple. It's pretty yeah. easy. You don't have to have all those small little tiny wires for each little small component going to each other. Um, everything's pinned out, laid out. Definitely and, uh, cleans up your build. Cleans up the build, especially for these newer, really light builds. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, the Hyperlite Floss. And here we have the X Hover Wind 5 inch, and that's also a 5 inch frame, correct? It's also a 5 inch as well. Yeah, so we're going to be able to. Stretch frames too. Exactly. So we're going to be able to put our modules right here in the middle of the frames, and all we got to do is solder our motor wires and solder our FPV camera wires. All right, guys, so we're going to get started on our build. It was great showing you the Magnum F4 power system. JD's enjoying his. How many builds do you have going with that right now? Uh, I got one current. This will be the second one. Nice. This one's going to be my first one since the prototyping phase. I'm excited. I know you guys are excited. And as always, if you ever need any assistance, have some questions on the Magnum, please feel free to visit emax-usa.com. Click on the service tab, create a support ticket. You can also find us on Facebook, emaxusa, and our Instagram is emax underscore usa. And our YouTube also, where you'll be watching this video, is Emax USA. For our international customers, please feel free to visit emaxmodel.com. You can also create a support ticket there. Look forward to seeing you guys. Look out for the next build video.